Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on solving LCM word problems. And they are problems that you look for the lowest common multiple. A couple of clues. They generally will ask for least, minimum, or something similar. And also, you are often looking for an event, or uh, an event that will repeat, or will sync up. And I'll work two examples to see if uh, this makes sense. Okay, let's get started. Let um, me move this up. Four friends go to lunch at Taco Bell. There's a special deal if you buy six tacos. Maybe like buy six and you get 50% uh, off or something. They want to buy the minimum number of tacos so that each person gets the same number of tacos with none left over. So the clue here is minimum number of tacos. Okay. So that each person gets an equal amount. We don't want anyone to go hungry. So here we go. First, we need to find the LCM of 6 and 4. I like to use a factor tree, so I'm going to do that. Okay, we're down to prime numbers with the factor tree. And then I love to use this little chart. It's a lifesaver, so I put the factors of 4, the factors of 6. Notice I did skip the 2 because I don't have a 2 there. The rule is for the LCM is if you have two in a column, just bring down one number. Otherwise, bring all the numbers down. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. You do not have to use a factor tree, but you will need to find the lowest common multiple. So now we know that the lowest common multiple is 12. So what they will need to do so that everybody gets an equal amount is they need to eat, they need to buy two of the deals, remember it's buy six tacos, they buy two of the deals, they will have 12 tacos, and then each person will get three tacos, and they will all go home happy. So let's go have the people happy. Everyone will go home happy. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, this example, first it uses dental hygienist. My sister was a dental hygienist for 20 plus years, uh, and this is a LCM problem which you're kind of syncing up uh, an event. So let's read this. Kate and Drew are two dental hygienists. They are both working today. Kate works every two days and, excuse me, a typo there, Drew, sorry about that, works every three days. And how many days will they both be working on the same day again? Well, let's get started. Okay, this is an LCM because you're syncing up the minimum amount of days before they will work together. It's a minimum problem, but it's just kind of disguised. Okay, so we need to find the LCM of 2 and 3. Well, um, that would be fairly easy. If you use my factor tree, 2 is uh, prime, 3 is prime. So I'll put them in my little chart. You don't really need to do this, but I'm going to show this. Bring down the 2, bring down the 3, so you just multiply these together. So the LCM is 6. And that tells us that in 6 days, they will be working together once again. Okay, so that's an example of syncing up an event. I hope this was helpful. helpful. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.